In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to introduce your wife or your husband or your spouse or some other family member to the silver and gold stacking concept. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the Precious Metals VIP Club. It ends on December 1st. Join before then if you wanna get entered, link in the description. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about both silver and gold, but more importantly, how to introduce your family to the silver and the gold. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Use promo code CYBER for a 15% discount this weekend only. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will be in the description. So today, I wanted to talk about introducing your spouse or another family member to the silver and gold stacking concept. There are some people out there that think you should never tell your spouse about the silver and the gold. I personally disagree with that. The thought of that just doesn't sound right to me and I'm not married, but if I were, I wouldn't make financial decisions behind my wife's back because I personally wouldn't appreciate if she would do that to me. And by the way, this video is coming out on Saturday but it's being filmed on Wednesday night, which means I have no idea what the spot price is gonna be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But regardless, I wanted to share what I believe would be the best way to introduce your wife or husband or whoever to the precious metals. But let me first explain how to not do it. For the love of God, please, don't try to scare someone into stacking. Like, don't stand in the garage and as soon as they get home, you jump out and say, Oh my God, the end is near. The government is going to make all our money obsolete. We're going to die. Our only chance of survival is by stacking little shiny metal objects. No, don't do that. That's the best way to fail and scare someone off. And if you do that, they're going to reject it because you sound like a crazy person. And crazy people can't be reasoned with. I know some of you married people are out there like, you know, have you met my wife? She can't be reasoned with. But anyway, but I also wanted to say, take it easy with the financial predictions. This is another mistake a lot of people make. They'll try to introduce precious metals to someone by letting them know what the current spot price is and that it's going to a million dollars by the second quarter of next year. And then when that doesn't happen, they'll say, oh no, it's actually going to happen in the fourth quarter of the year. And when that doesn't happen, they'll just keep moving the goalpost and continue ruining their credibility. You don't want to do that. You don't want to try to convince someone of anything. That goes for anything in the world, by the way. Never try to convince someone of something. Convince means to cause them to think the way that you think. Rather than convincing, persuade them. Help them understand. So what I believe, what you want to do is to... Be a bit of a salesperson. And I don't mean a used car salesperson with bad intentions. What do I do with her? Hmm? I sell her. I'm talking about day one effective sales tactics. Lead with a problem and offer a solution. A reasonable, practical solution with data on hand, questions ready to be answered, and objections ready to be countered. You could very easily go about it by saying something along the lines of, hey, so I was reading this article and it was about how 40% of the dollars in existence today were printed between this year and last year. That sounded a little dramatic. So I checked a few other sources and it turns out to be true. That's a lot of printing they're doing. And I looked at last month's inflation report and prices have really been going up. I mean, we see it every time we go to the store. Go and get food. Every week, we're paying more for the same amount of stuff. Rent is going up in January, and we're probably going to need a new car soon. And even the price of both new and used vehicles are going up. This is going to be a problem, and I don't want us to get stuck. So I was looking for some ways to help solve the problem, and I found a few ideas. The most interesting one that I thought you and I could benefit the most from with the least amount of effort is maybe by getting a little bit of silver and gold. 
I've been reading articles. I've been watching videos. I even stopped by a local coin shop just to ask some questions, and I think the precious metals are something we should look more into. It's really interesting, and it should be almost like a savings account, but in a way that isn't getting weaker from all the dollars that the government is printing. Let's not dump our whole life savings into it, but how about we do some research and maybe get some coins? And not for nothing, but it would probably be fun. That right there is how I believe it should be introduced. Not verbatim, not word for word, but something along those lines. You start with a problem, because let's be honest, that's why we're stacking each and every one of us, at least to my understanding, is stacking because we have a fear of a potential problem. And we're trying our best to combat that problem. Whether it be a short-term problem, whether it be a long-term problem, whether it be a problem somewhere in between, our plan, for the most part, I don't want to speak for everyone, but the majority of us, intend on using the silver and using the gold as somewhat of a hedge against inflation. Now, there are a variety of different ways you can go about doing this. I personally choose to mainly do it with silver and gold. I believe in the precious metals for the long term. Do I believe in the precious metals in the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months? Well, yes, I do, but I don't believe anything extreme is going to happen. I don't think anything substantial is going to happen. Why is that? Because next week, next month, that's short term. I'm doing other things for the short term. For the long term, it's what I believe to be the closest thing we have to a long-term solution to the long-term problem. And what is that long-term problem? Inflation and poor decisions made by the government that you and I have no control over. We can't do anything about it. You vote this way, you vote that way, they're going to do whatever they want regardless. It's a problem. They're not really phased by it. But we are. We get the brunt of it. We're the ones who get punished by it. And we're not even the one making the bad decisions. We're doing all the right things. We're going to work every day. We're paying our bills on time. We're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. We're not breaking any laws. We're not bothering anybody. And yet we're being punished. And the reason we're being punished is potentially because we're putting too much faith in the dollar bill or we're leaning too heavily on currency. Something that doesn't really seem to be stable right now. Hasn't really seemed to be stable for a long time. A couple of decades, to be honest, but especially the last 18 to 24 months. And guess what? Something tells me next year is not going to be any better than this year. Because this has been a growing problem for a really long time. So people like us in the silver and gold stacking community we figured out a way that, at the very least, can help combat inflation. Like I always say, silver and gold, it's not guaranteed to go up, but the dollar bill is guaranteed to go down. So at least when it comes to the precious metals, at least we stand a chance. At least there's an opportunity. At least it's possible that it can help us get ahead or stay afloat. That's just the way I see it. That's personally how I would go about introducing it to someone. We all know what the problem is. Inflation. It's like the it's like the elephant in the room that everyone knows it's there but nobody wants to talk about it. Guess what? It's something that we need to be talking about. It's something that we need to communicate about. It's a conversation that needs to take place. Like you can't just ignore it. So rather than ignoring the problem, how about we face the problem head on and do something to help solve the problem? That's just how I see it. I'm a problem solver. I don't like to ignore problems. I don't like to allow problems to get bigger and bigger and worse and worse. I like to do everything in my power to solve the problem. And for me personally... I'm going about potentially solving this problem with the precious metals. 
And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. If you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Make sure to use promo code CYBER for 15% off today, Sunday, and Cyber Monday. Of course, we have the consistency is key design. We got the mama didn't raise no Karen design. We got the Kraken stacking design. We got the lone wolf design and a bunch of other designs as well. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Make sure you use promo code CYBER for 15% off of absolutely everything. Also, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will also be in the description. If you refer three friends to the app before the end of the month, you only got a couple of days, so move quick. They will give you a free share of Apple worth over $150 right now. Don't miss out on the opportunity. Weeble link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. How did you or how would you introduce someone to the silver and the gold? It doesn't have to be the spouse. Not everyone's married. I'm personally not married. And I plan on keeping it that way. It doesn't have to be the wife. It doesn't have to be the husband. It could be brother, sister. It could be a, a friend, a co-worker, just someone, anyone, doesn't matter. How have you or how would you go about introducing the silver and gold stacking concept to another person? Would it be something along the lines of what I shared in this video? Maybe you made the mistakes of trying to scare someone into it or by making some financial claim or, or something like that. Maybe it was a little bit off-putting. Or maybe you went about it in a completely different way. Let me know what you did, what you said, did it work, or did it not. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.